Hello everyone, this is Bart Coppens, the sexy moth king. And today I am holding a fully grown caterpillar of the IO moth, scientific name Automeris IO. This is a species I've shown you many times on my channel before as adults, but never before as caterpillars. Now you have to be careful of the spines on its back, because this uh, is a venomous animal, it will sting if you touch them. Despite that they are quite badass. This is quite possibly my uh, favorite moth from North America, to be honest. Even though it is uh, common, the adults are simply so amazingly gorgeous. The males are yellow and uh, very small and fluffy and the females are just this brown with the yellow eye spots. But you know, the caterpillar can be missing on my channel, so there you go. Now, just in case you're wondering, wow Bart, how are you breeding these? I am uh, keeping them in a plastic container, like the one you see now. Let's put this caterpillar back first. Here, plastic container with a lid on it. And I'm feeding them laurel cherry, Prunus laurel cerasis. It's important to give them this kind with the small leaf, the broad leaf, because this is the kind they like. They uh, hate the big and round kind of laurel cherry. In fact, they will die if you feed it uh, to them. Why, I don't know. It's the same plant. The only difference is the shape of the leaf, for some reason. They absolutely hate the big, the big laurel cherry. So uh, some of them are even spinning cocoons and I'm trying to find one. That's why I'm turning the leaves here frantically. Aha, see there you go. A fresh cocoon of Artemis Io. The proof is in the pudding. These guys are absolutely pupating. And the caterpillars on here are on their final final few days or weeks before they spin cocoons. As you can see here, I have some paper towel here. And in here, they're also spinning cocoons. Can you see it? So uh, yeah, life cycle complete. So I end the video with a breeding tip. Don't use this kind of laurel cherry. This is the same plant. As you can see, the leaves are much bigger, very waxy, very thick. It's not very good for most silk moths. This is uh, the terrible kind of laurel cherry that you do not want to use. If you use this, it's very likely your caterpillars are going to die. <laughs>